long time no see. Okay, so my name is Tiffany. I am a first grade teacher here in Arizona. Um, welcome back or welcome for the first time. Okay, um, so I'm in my classroom. It is spring break. Today is Friday. It's the last day of spring break, last weekday of spring break. Um, and I wanted to get in here. There are a few things that I want to do that I really just don't want to do next week when we come back to school or for the rest of the year. Um, and I'll show you kind of my to-do list. I'll write it on the board like old school like I used to do. But um, I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Fun fact, I did film all of summer and all of pre-service and the first week. And then I just never edited it. Edited it. I never... Um, made them into like videos and I never posted them and so you guys never saw them about halfway through the year um I will probably like in I don't know like November ish December ish I had the thought of oh I'll just go through and I'll edit all of them and I'll post all of them because I moved around my classroom and I did some organization stuff this summer and uh got ready for yeah so it was a lot, um, but I figured it just didn't really make sense. And so I've been wanting to pick up the camera, but teaching is just crazy. Um, if you're a teacher and you're watching this, you know that. It's just like there's always something to do whenever you're done with like your to-do list. There's more. Um, and so there's just been a lot going on like always. And so I just haven't really picked up the camera. I think the last time that you saw a video from me was when I attempted to do um, like a Christmas, I don't know, like vlogmas type of thing. Um, and yeah, it was just really hard. I don't even know if that was last year or the year before. I feel like it's all been a blur. Um, maybe it was last year, like 2022, end of 20, what would that be? end of 2022 so it'd be December of that um but I just had a lot of family stuff going on um I did this whole video to like kind of tell you where I've been and everything and I just didn't post it but um my dad ended up passing away I and up until that I was with him like pretty much every day no matter where he was at um we just had some family changes and stuff like that um I think the last time I talked to you, I still had a student teacher and yeah, so just super grateful for my team and my school pulling together and um, I'm just really grateful for where I work and who I work with and so they got me through all of that. My student teacher came in clutch, man. It was like right before her time where, because I had her pretty much for the whole year, uh, last school year, 20, 2022, 2023 school year. Um, it, Everything kind of really fell apart in my personal life um, with like my dad and stuff right before she was supposed to like take over my classroom. So she ended up, we got clearance for her to take it over a little early with some help just for a little bit of like some sub support. And it just, it was just, uh, just super thankful for everyone that was uh, around me at that time and still. So that's kind of where I've been. I did do this video where like I kind of told you like, you know, more of like how they helped and what they did in my school and everything, but we're just not gonna get into that today. Today is like a welcome back to my classroom. I'm gonna show you around, show you some things that changed, some things that I worked on over the summer that I did not post, um, but I did film um, and um, then get to my to-do list. But for right now, um, I'm still in the same room I've been in for the last couple years, and hopefully I will stay in this room next year also. Um, I don't think they would do that to me. I am, uh, we just got contracts. I am staying in the same grade next year. I will be lead still next year, um, grade level lead. And yeah, we have some, yeah. So uh, as changes come, I'll go through them with you. But right now, I'll just kind of show you around my room. It's kind of a mess. This is how I left it uh, last Friday before spring break started. And so I'm kind of looking around like, oh man, I wish I had, I wish I always had more time. 
Um, you could spend a whole day in your classroom and still not be done with everything you want to do. There's always something. So just like at home. Um, but I'll take you around my classroom and I'll kind of tell you. Uh, yeah. So, all right, let's get to it. Welcome. Welcome back. That was a really long intro, but let's get going. Here's a look around my room and how we left it. Um, those are my morning tubs, my little Friday folder, our sanitizing station, my little snack bin at the bottom is looking a bit, uh, sorry over there, I need to <laughs> add more snacks. Uh, that is our copy basket we have in copy cart. We have a, a parent that makes all the first grade copies, which is awesome. Uh, our lunch wagon, that black toe I found on top of my blue cabinet, and it was actually full of books. If you've been around here, you know that I have a book buying problem, and so I've been working through those. But here is a look at my classroom, my little scoop chairs. Uh, you can see my TP in the background, my small group table back there that has a bunch of stuff to do on it, um, our sharp student desk, and all of our tables. 20 kiddos this year and so I was able to remove a table this year there are my bucket or my drawers up there this is something I incorporated this year how did I do today uh, those are my classroom jobs but the how did I do today is a self-reflection that the kids do at the end of each day and they use their cubby numbers. One says I tried my best and the other one said hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And so it just kind of reflects how they felt like they did. This is our feelings check-in that they do every morning. I have these little post-its and then that way we can just get a gauge of our class and how everyone's doing. That is our I ready chart. Each month it's something different and every time the kiddos score 100% on an I ready lesson they get to color in a box. So, and we all clap for them and it's cool. Um, there is our days of school countdown and my focus wall here are our finished I ready uh, charts that we've done this year. Here's our back wall with hearts. We did a cute project where the kiddos wrote what they think about each other, just one word. Here's our library that is busting at the seams. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next year. Here's the other side, it's all leveled for AR. Here are my bins. This summer I went through and I organized them a bit more. I did new labels and I alphabetized them so it's easier to find things we need. Usually I write it on the board, but I just spent all that time cleaning the board and my board is not clean very often. And then, so we're going to go ahead and write my to-do list. So, um, I'm going to pick up my contract. It should be in my mailbox. Um, I need to do my magnetic reading packets. We do magnetic reading through iReady and this is our first year with it. And using the workbooks is fine, but in first grade we like to send home all their work. And so the kids right now are just not at the point where they can tear the pages out themselves. They're not perforated or anything. Perforated? Perforated, they're not perforated. Um, and so we've been ripping them out or I've been ripping them out and then making little packets. Um, so I'm just gonna make all the packets for the rest of the year. Today, I also need to clean out my cabinet over there. Sorry, you guys, it's so dark. Um, clean out my cabinet over there just to kind of see like where we're at with the supply situation as far as paper and what we need to order. We're getting toward the end of the year, which also means that we're getting toward the end of our supply uh, budget um, so um, let's do paper what do they call that inventory and then I want to do a quick supply inventory 
just to see where we're at because we are going to have to order and so I just kind of want to see where we're at with everything. So to-do list pickup contract magnetic reading packets for the rest of the year, paper inventory supply inventory, um, I feel like that is it for right now. So that's my goal. I know the packets are going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and set you down. I'll speed it up so you guys get to listen to music. I'm going to listen to music too. And we're going to get it done. Let's take a look at my to-do list. So, picked up my contract. I did all of the magnetic reading packets, so I tore them all out. Um, and then, like, my batteries died, which I thought I had charged my batteries, but nothing here has changed, you guys. My batteries die, and then I have to recharge them and stuff. Um, so, same as always. Um, but I did all my magnetic reading packets, ripped them out, and then I cut the edges because I'm crazy and I don't want all those rough edges. And then I put um, cover pages on them so I have them for the rest of the year and then I started to do supply inventory and like a bunch of stuff fell out of one of my cabinets so then I spent time picking that up anyways so I'm gonna go through right now and do some more work in my supplies um, figure out my paper situation and then we had a parent come and uh, make all of our copies and so now I just need to um, like paper clip them or binder clip them and then put them where they go for the week. have forgotten to hit record so let's just do a quick haul so first up Dollar Tree so did you guys know if you are accelerated reader if you guys do that with AR levels and such so there is a scanner app that you can get on your phone Android has one um, and then uh, Apple has another one this is the one that is on Apple it's called Book Scanner. And so basically you can scan your barcode. I think it was like a dollar or two. Um, and you just scan the barcode. And so it thinks through it. The one thing I did find about, I don't know if it was the location of Dollar Tree that I was at, if it was just the app. So a lot of times, okay, this is what happened in the store. So in Dollar Tree, this comes up. So it recognized it, but it like doesn't pull up everything. Hold on, that one wasn't a good example. This one I do have to type in everything. But for example, so this is the book I found at Dollar Tree off Arthur Breaks the Bank. And then when I scanned the barcode, didn't quite work. But when I typed it in, it pulls up with all the info. It is a 2.0. I am a first grade teacher, but my library goes into a 3.0. And then I do have some books that are a little over 3.0. Right now, my reading range in my classroom is about a 0 0.7, which is kindergarten level, all the way up to chapter books 3.0 and higher. So that is my reading range in my classroom right now. So, and I have a book buying problem, if you've been here a while. Um, but, so... This was $1.25 at the dollar store or at the Dollar Tree, and it's a 2.0. Okay, and then these are also um, at the Dollar Tree, and these are AR. So Daniel gets scared. Daniel plays at school. Um, Daniel goes out for dinner. There's Arthur and the new kid. Oh, uh, what else? 
Okay, we are doing a student store this year and they'll be able to shop in the class store or save their money, they get to choose. And so I have some card games. I have stuff on my Amazon wish list that parents have gifted. I have some other things that parents have donated for the class store. And then I also go out and purchase some things. So I got some card games. You get three for $1.25. So some hearts, two matching games, spoons, go fish, um, a different go fish, a memory game, and then I also got a couple for my classroom. So one thing that we always talk about with OT at our school, and it usually comes up in our IEP meetings, is how students, when they, or anybody, when they use a card game, it helps with their dexterity. It helps with their, like knowing how much force to put on a card when they're holding it, when someone's um, taking it from their pile, uh, from their hand. It teaches them a lot of different things. And so it helps with writing, building up that stamina of their hand. Um, and so I also wanted to get some for our classroom. So this one is just kind of a matching game. They're just numbers. And so you can use it for a bunch of different stuff. Build a word is fun and then cool shapes and colors. So I do have a couple students that are um, having trouble with their shapes. So I thought that that would be fun as far as just like when they get to do buckets, they get to do those. So those three will be for my classroom. And then the rest of these will be for my student's store. So a total of nine will be going in my student's store of various games. And then I saw on Amazon, so this is not Dollar Tree, that was just Dollar Tree, books and cards, um, card games. So on Amazon, they have this pack. This was had a coupon and then it was 50% off of that coupon also like with the coupon too. So it has a ton of stuff in here for my treasure box. So I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in my treasure box, but then it does come with like bigger items that I'll also use for student store usually. Um, so it does have some Halloween stuff. That's why it was on clearance, but it also has like a bunch of bugs and stuff which are fun. So um, I will have one of my teacher helpers just put that in the treasure box. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, but. So more stuff for our treasure box. I also sent home treasure box work during spring break. I usually send treasure box work home about twice a month or maybe once a month. And it's working on things that we're doing in class. Um, I send a good assortment of their work home each week, but I also want their parents to see them doing it at home. It should all be a review always. I don't ever send new concepts concepts home. Um, so, but. Uh, everyone will be bringing back their treasure box work. So I will have a teacher helper go through and put these in my treasure box when we return. But um, yeah, that is it for me. I'm going to go home. I'm going to pick up my um, eight-year-old and he really wants to go to the library today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Thank you for following me along today. Sorry I didn't show you a ton, but... I will see you guys on the next one. And um, if you're not on spring break yet, it's coming. You got this. And if you are on spring break, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.